Hi friends, I welcome you all again to the next lesson. So we'll we are learning the joins which are present in SQL. In the previous tutorials, we have learned about the inner join, left join, and the right join. In this video, we'll be learning about the cross join, which is available in SQL. Now, cross join is not used as much as the other joins which are available, but uh, this is a common question which is asked in a lot of interview. I would try to simplify you about cross joins. If you look at in the image which is available, so we have two tables, table A and table B. Table A has three elements, table B has four elements. And you can see from the arrows that each element in table A is being matched with the other element in table B. And that exactly is the concept for cross joins. Each row in table A is matched with the other row in table B. This is uh, just the explanation. Let us move to the editor. And the other table is the order details table. Now let us perform a cross join. So as discussed cross in cross join will be getting all the rows all the rows in one table will match with all the rows in the other table so we'll be getting the result likewise let's say table a has m rows and table b has n rows what is the total number of rows which would come up so each row in table a will match with the other row in table B. So the total number of rows which comes up is M into N. So here we are performing from customer details, cross join, order, details. We need not to provide on. If we are providing the on and we are telling match on this particular uh, column, this co column is common so that would act as like similarly as the inner join so in cross join we do not give the on condition let me hit enter shows me an error and unknown column a dot customer id in field list i forgot to mention the alias here beside the table name great so you can see all the results have come up so all the rows have matched in, in table a in the customer details table have matched with the other rows of the order details column so let us count the number of rows which has come up we will perform a select count star oh shit. select count star from and then we'll provide this particular code because now this code acts as a table for us and this is this concept is known as the i mean uh, set within a subset so uh, we are we are using a query as a table okay uh, so we'll have to provide a name to the table so i'll give, just give it as c and I would tell to perform a C star so you can see uh, the total number of rows is 30 let us just count the number of rows which are present in the customer details the order details first so i'll just do a count star this is six 
let us perform a count star on so count star gives the number of rows which is present in that particular table and this is 5 and we know 5 into 6 is 30 and that cross verifies our result also that it is giving the route right number of rows in our output because each column in table a will match with the other sorry each row in the table a will match with the other row in table b so 5 6 are 30 and uh, that is exactly right so i hope you guys enjoyed this particular video on the uh, meet you in the next